Show your support. Like and subscribe. Hey guys, so I am headed out to the truck right now. It's about uh, 8 30, o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my cheat sheet. And hopefully uh, by this afternoon, I should be able to give you guys a nice update with a passing grade on this test. So let's go ahead and grab this. Here we go, we're all set up. Got my study guide. And uh, now we're gonna head inside and go and make some pancakes for Ellie and for Bianca. And we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see how much we can study and learn uh, throughout the morning. Cause I've got all my stuff coming up around two o'clock. All right, I'll see you. Ellie, Ellie, can daddy see your hair? What is that? Hi, good morning. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Good afternoon. All right, so we're on our way up to uh, Metropolitan CDL in West Palm. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take our pre-trip exam test. Um, I have my examination is either at 2 or 2.30 today. I'm gonna check when I get there because uh, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm excited. I'm not very nervous at all. I'm pretty confident in my ability to get this done. So uh, I just wanted to give you guys that update. Uh, the, I'm hoping to get one of the lower tests. I guess there's three different types of exams. Um, the third being the one that goes over the entire truck uh, and trailer. Uh, I'm hoping to get one of the other ones that goes over, you know, just portions of the truck, just portions of the trailer, so I don't have to run through the whole thing. But if I have to do everything, I am fully prepared for that and I don't have an issue. But I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys that update. Uh, I'm about to turn on to Lake Worth Road. I'm at Lake Worth and Military right now, and I'm headed up to uh, Southern, just west of the Turnpike. Um, I'm going to stop and get some fuel, grab a drink, uh, go over my notes a little bit more, and then um, I'll have another video coming up in a little bit. New video should hopefully be starting in about five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys! All right, so before anything, I have to say, this is your captain speaking. That's all I need to get out there. Um, so we're now we're post-test and I have some good news and I have some bad news. Um, the test is usually about a 30 minute test and it usually takes most people about 30 minutes to get it done. Uh, some get it done in about 20 minutes. Um, it took me about eight minutes and I passed it. So I'm feeling phenomenal about that. Uh, it's a pretty good day there. The bad news though is I have my driving portion next Friday. I have it on September 7th. And uh, they usually need you to get in some practice in the driving, uh, uh, in driving the trucks um, before you go and take the test. But they don't have any open time on their schedule for me to even get in a half hour of training in one of the trucks. Um, when I originally signed up and got set up with the school and I set up my testing date, they should have gone out and scheduled me for testing times during the day. Instead, they never put me down for any time during the day to get any uh, to get any practice in, in the trucks. And I'm at that point where now I have to go and take the test next Friday. And their closest date for me to get any time is like September 17th. They have no time on the schedule for the next three weeks going out and basically said, well, we can either push you far out and you can take your test far down the road or you get no training and you can have your test next Friday. So being that I have a 40 foot trailer already, I'm gonna go to Home Depot or something this weekend, go set up some cones in an empty parking lot if I can find one. And I'm gonna go ahead and practice myself with my own equipment. And when it comes to jumping into the tractor trailer, uh, I believe I'm working with a 40 foot uh, trailer will be what I'm testing with. I have to, I've got to do a straight line backup. I have to do an offset backup that's uh, starting here and backing up to the left. Uh, and then another one backing up to the right. I'm not sure if the screen turns around or not uh, when I put this up on YouTube. But, um, and then there is a alley docking where I have to 
uh, come straight back and then I have to dock into an alley which is uh, basically a direct 90 degree angle there so I have to make that happen um, I'm gonna do the best I can to practice with my trailer and hopefully I can uh, get in some good practice there because I, I I'm pretty confident that I can get this done I think I can get it done and I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with it but I have been trumped before on my confidence my confidence has led me down the wrong path sometimes and uh, it leads to too much cockiness in there so I want to be confident not cocky so I'm gonna go ahead and practice uh, most likely this weekend and um, I'll try and upload a video of me out there practicing uh, when I get to that portion and start doing that other than that that's all the news I have for you today um, we have passed the pre-trip a uh, pre-trip inspection exam and we're moving forward so I hope everyone has a great day thank you very much of course for checking out the video and I'll see you next time bye